Elliot, thank you for joining us. Just looking back at the past week, how do you feel about the last two performances? Because they've been some really good showings, a good win at Solihull, and then a, a battling performance on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, been really good. I think for the last sort of four or five games, we've been putting in sort of solid performances. Um, I think the two losses that we had, we deserved something out of the game, um, but we, yeah, we took the, the positives from it, which were the performances. And um, yeah, the last couple of games have been been the same. Um, Solio obviously getting the win was great and the clean sheet. Um, Saturday, a couple of sloppy goals, but the performance was there again and we managed to come back and still get something. So it's notable that we made a really fast start on Saturday but just couldn't capitalise. How important is it that if we do that tomorrow night that we go and go up, go ahead, go two goals ahead early on? Yeah, massive. I think all the boys we've said it, I think um, you know, the first goal in games is huge, especially in this league. I think if you get the first goal, usually you should be able to see the game out. Uh, I think that's been our problem a little bit this season is not getting the first goal. Teams doing that against us, even if we've had a few chances, not scored them. Um, and then we're struggling to get back into games or we're having to draw games where, where we should be really winning. So, um, yeah, I think another fast start tomorrow and hopefully take a few chances and should be, uh, hopefully, a comfortable game for us. We face Maidenhead. What, what do you know about them going into this one? Um, yeah, they're, they're a hard-working team, um, probably exceeding expectations this year, but, you know, credit to them, they've been, they've been really good um, grinding out wins and obviously beat us at their place earlier in the season. So... You know, we, we want to put that right and, and just carry on these performances that we've been doing. So they're only just ahead of us in the table. How big of an incentive is that to go and, go and catch them? Yeah, massive. You know, every game now is towards the end of the season. We, we want to sort of climb the table and get close to where we, we all expected we should be. Um, and I think, yeah, the last sort of four or five games is, is the sort of level that we, we want to be at. So if we can just keep doing that, then we should, you know, end up at a much higher up on the table. Looking at your personal season, you came in in the summer and you seem to really have found your feet in that defensive line. Just how do you assess your performances so far this year? Um, I think I sort of struggled at the start. Um, I think coming into a new team, you know, trying to gel and things like that, I think on the pitch, maybe playing in a couple of different positions sort of couldn't quite get that form that I wanted to. But yeah, the sort of since I've come back into the team in that sort of left sided centre half role, um, just feel quite at home there and the team luckily have been have been playing really well, so I've managed to, to keep the shirt. And just finally, of course, we're still without the fans at the moment, which is difficult when you're playing at home. What would your message to them be to show their sport online or through the stream? Um yeah, I mean all the boys we we sort of miss it massively, you know, the couple of games we did have it was such a difference. It almost felt like the start of the season, the sort of that home game at Ultranum. Um, so yeah, all you can say is just stick with us and keep supporting us online and through the Twitter and, and watching the streams and hopefully you'll be back in soon.